This video shows the interior design of Medieval Cabin. It is part of my new Blender environmental course created for Blender 4.1. If you want to know more, check the description below this video. So we start with creating a cube and adding some extra lines so we can create some holes in it for the window and door design. So at this point you can add a boolean modifier and cut the holes in the cube. You remove the object and now we can drag the windows to the outside and that helps when you create an interior design. We're going to rematch the object because I'm using displacement textures for the wooden floor and the cabin wood. Then we add the camera and we're using a different focal length to have a wide perspective. I'm turning on the transparency and disable the denoise. Then we can see the noise in the room. We have to get rid of it, but we get that later. First, I like to separate the roof from the room so we can look inside of the building if we want to add some props. I don't need to do that for the floor. I just need to append a different material on it using the old floor. And if all the materials are applied, we can continue to the next topic, and that is adding some roof beams. These are photo scanned and full of detail. And when we take a closer look, you can see all the rough boot on the beams. All right, so I'm using some window frames from a different chapter, simply append this and align this with the holes. And when they're all in place, we can just jump to the next topic. And that is checking the lighting. Using a point light just to check the textures, and if everything looks good, we can add area lights. That is to boost the environmental light because it now looks a little bit dark. And with these area lights, you can just boost the light a little bit so it's not that dark. They're not the main light, we're doing that later, but just a little bit of extra light in the scene. We're adding the atmosphere, just a little bit of fog in it. Um, it's just a preset. We're playing with it later to find a good detail. This is a little bit of extreme, but I kind of like it. So one of the main objects in the scene is the fireplace and we're modeling this one from scratch. Uh, and when modeling the fireplace, you need to be aware that the walls are thick. Um, we're using a remasher so we can add a displacement texture on it using a rocky material. And if the walls are thick, it looks good. We're also modeling a stone floor and we can put this close to the fireplace uh, because if we use a wooden floor, uh, the cabin will take fire. So if everything is right, we make a new render, checking out the light. Then we jump to the vertex painting in the cabin. And we do this to add some plaster that we can add between the beams in the cabin. And to achieve this, we have to build a node setup in the material editor to get this working. So we render it again and you can see the plaster between the wall. So at this point, we start with adding some props in the room, starting with a bat and a clock. And on the left, using a nightstand, we can use some books on it and we integrate the table in the room, doing a little bit of lighting with candles and then we render and take a look. The scene is getting a shape and the lighting is doing it work. A uh, table without chairs doesn't look right, so we add some chairs, I scanned by myself, and then we're focusing on the windows. Um, I like to add some snow behind the glass, also putting some snow on the beams. And if we render that again, we can see that the window is much more improved. So we're adding some wood for the fireplace, putting that on the right and an item frame with the cabin from the exterior, uh, putting that on the wall. So at this point, I like to focus a bit more on the lighting, starting with the fireplace and importing some firewood with a video that shows fire. We're doing some material work, so the fire burns on the firewood and then we're adding it in the fireplace. Then we're focusing on the main light, putting an area light on the top so we can boost the environment light in the room and that makes the render much more brighter. When that is finished, I like to add some endless on the fireplace. I found these during a hike and I thought it would be really cool to add in the scene. So we're almost done. The only thing what I like to do is adding a little bit of color grading, uh, putting attention on the warm and cold tints. And then we can make a video clip. So we add a camera track. We're adjusting this a little bit, uh, a little bit of shake file on the camera, just gently. And then we're going to render the video and check it out.